Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The team of the year midfielders are here. These three attackers, Mbappe, Messi, and Benzema, will be leaving packs today. And the three team of the year midfielders, Jude Bellingham, Luka Modric, and Kevin De Bruyne, will be in packs today. I want to talk about how the market could be impacted today because of the midfielders coming in. And of course, the attackers going out of packs for the next couple of days. Along with that, Sunday content today could bring us the opportunity for an icon SBC that we have not yet seen in this game. And I'm not talking about an icon team of the year SBC like we saw with Hugo Sanchez yesterday. I'm talking about a gamble pack. I'm talking about an icon upgrade pack. Since the hero player pick is expiring, there's another pack in the code that may give us our first chance of packing prime icons on FIFA 23. So I want to take a look at that. And of course, the market just keeps rising. A lot of player prices, as I look around everywhere, just keep going up, and that's because the market is healthy, content is good, and people are playing this game right now a lot. So well, we're going to take a look at that today, but if we get a big icon pack, could the market drop a bit? Maybe. A lot to talk about today. If you're excited for midfielders and packs, hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about these midfielders, and let's, of course, firstly take a look at these cards, right? We don't know the in-game stats yet, the face card stats for 95-rated Bellingham, 97 De Bruyne, or 96 Modric. We just know their overall ratings. I think today Foot Sheriff would probably leak those official stats before they're released in packs, but if they are not, we'll find out at content today, and these cards will be in packs. The only word of warning I would have is if you maybe own this Jude Bellingham or maybe if you own the Kevin De Bruyne uh, winter wild cards item, these guys might dip a little bit in price today as people see the team of the years coming back into packs. But these guys should be pretty expensive. But I think that every single one of the team of the years from the midfielders today uh, dropping into packs will be under about three, two and a half to three million coins for the first day price. I mean, even Jude Bellingham and Luka Modric will probably be in the one million coin range and cheaper than what we have already seen so far with Mbappe being eight mil, Benzema being two mil, and Messi being around four million coins. These are going to be the start of the more affordable team of the year cards dropping in packs today. So just these three guys in packs, they will be very, very interesting. And I want to talk about how they enter packs. Like if you're really wanting to try out a Jude Bellingham today, or if you're really wanting trying out a Modric or a De Bruyne, they're going to be a lot different in packs today, I think, than the attackers were. Because the, the biggest thing is today on Sunday, we're not going to have as many packs opened as we saw on Friday. We saw Benzema have tons of supply. We saw Messi and Mbappe get really low out three hours after the promo started because so many people were opening packs and it just drove supply, supply, supply onto the market. And now these guys have gotten a little bit rare, right? And they've gone up in price. These team of the year attackers have. I don't think it's going to be the exact same with the midfielders because not as many people will be opening saved up packs today for these midfield cards. There's going to be supply still. There will be lightning rounds and probably those midfielder specific lightning rounds that EA ran on Friday for the attackers, the attacker specific packs. I would expect midfielder specific packs today as well. So I would just more so expect the prices on the midfielder icons today as my game is like being slow and glitching out. We might even have to restart the game here for a second. Uh, but I would expect the prices of these cards today to have more of a slower drop and they might even have a little bit more of an expensive price for a day one and day two. If you kind of look back to last year in FIFA 22's team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne started first day at 2.7 million coins. And then when the full team was in packs later in the week, he dropped down literally a million coins in value uh, down to the 1.8 million coin range. So I would expect these cards to start off a little bit expensive today for what they'll end up at later in the week. Of course, that's how it is when you have cards in packs two different times during promo. Uh, but just be very careful if you're trying to trade with any of these this week. Now for the attackers, we have to talk about this as well because these guys have only been in packs for two days. And if you think about it, a guy like Karim Benzema with Modric coming out today, there's probably going to be a lot of people that We'll want to try Modric and Benzema in the same team. How is that going to affect his price on the market in the next couple of days? Last year and in most years, the team of the year attackers that get released first, they don't really see that much of a rise on the market after they go out of packs because people still know that Benzema, Messi, and Mbappe are going to be in packs again at the end of this week. But with Benzema and Modric and then of course with the defenders coming out and Eder Militao and Courtois being a part of that release as well, in the early part of next week or this coming week, could Benzema actually see a bit of a price boost? Maybe, but the only other downside to Benzema is 
he just has a lot of supply compared to like Messi and Mbappe. So I would just be very careful. Um, if you want to try to buy one, um, Mbappe or a Messi for your team, I would just not hold on to any of these team of the year cards. If you're going to use them for a couple of days, I would definitely sell them before we get to about Tuesday, Wednesday, because when we get that far into this next week, people will be like, okay, we're getting around a time when the full team of the year is going to be in packs. And these card prices will probably start to drop off a lot. So there might be a slight bounce on some of those team of the year cards, but I'm not thinking I'm going to buy any of those for like profit or anything like that. It would just be something if you're having those cards in your team, I would definitely sell before we get to later this week. And we'll talk about that for sure. Now, let's talk about more content today on Sunday. Of course, the team, their midfielders are going to be in packs. That's pretty big, right? But the big content could be here in SBCs and it might be with this pack right now. Here. And I want to take you guys through and look at this pack that's been added because it's massive, right? And this would be a very, very hyped icon upgrade SBC, 88 plus mid prime or world cup icon pack. It's a pack. It's not a player pick. This might be one of the most expensive icon upgrade packs we have seen yet, right? Because it throws in the same pack that we had a couple of weeks ago with the mid or world cup. It throws in the prime icon version in this pack. And that means you've got some really, really big players that are packable from this SBC, right? You think about prime versions of some of these icons, which are some of the best in the game right now, millions, two, three, four million coin icons that are going to be packable from this upgrade pack that are now added in, probably going to make it a bit more expensive. And when is this pack going to drop is the real question. The reason why we're talking about it today is because Sundays and Mondays are the common days where we get these icon upgrade packs. It's either one or the other. And it looks like it really could be happening today because the 87 plus hero player pick is going away. So we will see if EA wants to keep the focus on SBCs. And they, if they want to make it a hype day of content today on Sunday with the team of the years in packs, they could release this SBC at the same time it also could not be released today it could be released tomorrow on monday if ea wanted to solely focus on the team of their midfielders and the packs that they will be putting in the store trying to get people to focus on that instead of doing sbcs right i think it's kind of a toss-up between today or tomorrow we really never know but it does look like it could potentially be today which is why we need to think about investing in SBC fodder. Now, SBC fodder prices have gone up a little bit because yesterday's content included a pretty solid icon SBC for Hugo Sanchez, which is honestly a pretty nice upgrade. And a lot of people are doing this 630,000 coins. It's basically the same price as Ramos, just a slight bit more expensive. 83% upvote for this Hugo Sanchez card that is getting a pretty decent boost. Not like absolutely insane, but it's a nice weak foot boost as well from his prime card. He is four star, four star. I think he got plus ones all the way around, plus three physical and plus three passing. Dynamic image, it looks good, right? The card design is fantastic. That's going to be very craftable at the least during the team of the year pack spam that is upcoming. And then of course, we also had yesterday the 83 plus times three attackers upgrade again. And we could do that three times. And even though people are downvoting this like crazy, people are doing this pack and it's making the low tier fodder market rise. Your 83s are up to 1K. Your 84s didn't really ride that, rise that much, but your 85s did go up because inside of that SBC again, 85s were required. So 85s went from about 9,000 coins, spiked up. Wow, really? 13K. Now they're back down. I don't know if all 85s went to 13K or if that was just um, a bombing. Let me take a look here. They did. Wow, that's crazy. A huge spike on the 85s yesterday. Now, I would imagine that EA is going to drop this 83 times three midfielders pack at some point in the next couple of days as well. This might not be until Monday, but if you have 83s, I mean, today, even though 83s have started to go up a little bit and they're already about a thousand coins a pop, maybe if you can get some on bids at like 900 or 850 with defender upgrades and midfielder upgrades coming and who else knows what upgrade packs we're going to get this next week, 83s could be in the mid to high 1K range like they were 1.6K on Friday just a couple days ago. These might be a watch in terms of the fodder market. But back to that Icon SBC pack, right? If we get this Icon pack today, we are looking at some higher rated fodder that is going to rise, right? This SBC would not be cheap. I'm thinking maybe 300,000 coins-ish 
for an SBC pack of this value just because of how hype it's going to be, I would really keep a watch on 86s, 87s, and 88s because, you know, 89s, 90s, and 91s, they're already up a little bit. You know, 91s, a lot of people had invested in for the potential of Mbappe Player of the Month, the Icon SBCs that are out and available right now. If there's an 88 rated squad in this 88 plus pack, 91s and 90s and the 89s will probably still go up in value uh but i think there's more profit potential on the 86s and the 87s because they will absolutely be needed for an sbc like this as well so if we're going to invest in fodder today i would look at maybe some 86s and some 87s and then 84s three and a half k for 84s this is like really solid right i mean we may not have sbcs that specifically require 84s but i mean remember last week these guys were at 5,000 coins and if there are plenty of other 83 rated squads out there there will be constant demand for for these types of players if this icon sbc has like an 85 or an 84 rated squad inside of it as a lower rated squad as maybe a three or four part segmented sbc you could see 84s going up as well so i like 84s for a really good investment i like the 86s and 87s and i really like informs and this is not a part of the market that i usually invest in myself but inform investing is very very profitable all year long and some of these card prices are looking really really good now some of them are up just a thousand coins or so from where they were at their absolute lowest in this week in time frame but 87 osman under 20,000 coins i just have an opportunity here or i see an opportunity here where after team of the year informs almost always explode because during team of the year we have so many sbcs that are released you think about the Ramos that we have had you think about the um the leaks for a flashback Pogba and a end of an era bail that we still haven't seen yet we've got these icon SBCs like this Hugo Sanchez is out for 13 weeks he's going to be out for a long time even more player SBCs and more types of upgrade SBCs are going to be released during team of the year this week and next week fodder is a pretty good long-term investment especially for informs informs are better for that long-term investment and this is something that i have done actually in the past day i've stocked my transfer list and i bought some not not a crazy amount but i've stocked my transfers with with a few of the mid to higher rated informs just because i think this is something that i'm okay to put some coins into right now and then come back in a couple weeks time and we'll still see those prices go up as there's a lot of SBCs out there and a lot of demand for those types of SBCs. Now, let me just show you something from last year. If you're not sure and you believe me, another reason why I really like investing in informs right now is take a look at Peter Gulashi and Handanovic, two 87 rated informs that were in this same team of the week at the same time as last year during the first week of team of the year, right? Handanovic was 26K, 25,000 coins on the weekend. We started getting SBCs. The full team of the year comes in packs. Obviously, he goes out of packs as the team of the week before team of the year. And he goes all the way up to 50,000 coins about a month later in the middle of February. February is always a month where fodder prices peak and go really, really high. Same thing happened with 87 Gulashi. He went from 25,000 coins all the way to 40K. And no, this is not just an out of packs rise because these guys are meta. They are purely SBC fodder. Here's another example. Look at Kai Havertz, 84 rated card. During that second week of team of the year, when the full team was in packs on that weekend, 84s went down to the low 2K range. And what happened in the middle of February when all fodder was sky high again 9k for 84 so i'm not telling you to like buy 84s today and hold on to them until february what i'm really saying is take a look at these informs that are in right now some of the cheapest informs by rating i like any of the cards that are from this team of the week 85s 86s 87s 88s you could even club stock a couple 83s 84s if you want to but since 85s are almost this card, try to get those at like 12, 13K. 86s, try to get it like 14, 15. 87s, under 20. And 88s, under 28. Uh, just because I feel like with the Icon SBCs, with the big time flashbacks, upgrade packs like today or tomorrow's Icon pack, I just think this is a nice investment that if you want to put some coins into something and not think about it for like a month, this is the perfect type of investment for you. Now, the gold fodder, like we talked about with the 84s, maybe the 86s and 7s, this would be an investment that you would buy probably today or tomorrow and hold on to it and sell it during this week. Because like we saw with the Kai Havertz last year and probably what we're going to see with these lower rated cards again, this next Friday, we are going to see fodder drop. Stuff that's in packs, especially the low tier, is going to get hammered with supply as people open their packs during the full team 
of team of the year. So that's kind of a long spiel on fodder. Now, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that and put the bigger picture in mind because that's how, how I'm kind of investing right now is I know there's a lot of upgrade packs that's going to come out during team of the year. I'm going to be spamming upgrades, trying to pack team of the years, spending a lot of coins. But if I have like a safe kind of investment, kind of think of it like a, I don't know, like a long-term investment, like a stock with a dividend or something, or a bond maybe, but a lot shorter term than that in real life. Anyways, you kind of it's kind of like a safe investment that won't really go any lower than it is right now, and it's just going to gradually go up over the next month. You'll be able to sell it and make some good profits. So I'm not going all in. I'm not going unassigned, but I bought a few. Put them on my transfer list, and I'll sell those when they go up here in due time. Now, more content that could drop today on Sunday, right? I think it's going to be a pack focused day. I know I mentioned that a little earlier in the video. I really feel strongly about that because we didn't see a ton of pack content yesterday except for an SBC pack. And then I think EA added this team of the year essentials pack um, into the store. I think it was also here yesterday as well, or maybe this one's brand new. I don't rem quite remember. There's so many store packs these days. It's hard to keep track of them, but the new year special pack will probably refresh again today. And um, I do expect more lightning rounds. The only thing I hope comes back today is the 10 coin pack. Like they didn't release it yesterday on Saturday, hopefully today on Sunday, the 10 coin pack comes back. And then maybe since there's new team of the year cards and packs today, on Friday, we saw a flash SBC. Maybe there's going to be a flash SBC again today. That might make some lower tier gold cards move. So keep a close eye out for that if it would to drop again. And then technically, we could get a player SBC today as well. Maybe the bail. I was definitely not expecting the uh, Hugo Sanchez yesterday. I remember seeing the leak on Twitter on Friday, but I don't remember. Uh, I, I guess that I wasn't really expecting it this early, but boom, EA Sports, bang, bang, with the team of their icons and packs, and then this SBC, which is nice. So I think there's one more. I think it might be Jabi Alonso is the other leaked um, icon team of the year SBC. I don't know if that would be today, uh, but you know, player SBC wise, we have the Bale, we have the Pogba. I'm not expecting the Pogba until later in this week. We'll talk about that more as the week goes on. I mean, there's potential for it because a flashback midfielder dropped in the same day as the midfielders. It would make sense, but really, I feel like today will be a pack focused day once again with maybe a couple of SPCs, and we'll see if EA do anything interesting with that. Now, with the rest of the market, right? You guys maybe saw me in last night's video talking about trading and making some coins. I bought a couple of cards yesterday, stuff that got a little bit low, like um, Fred Centurions is one that I kind of have my eye on right now. Fred Centurions was like 290,000 coins. He peaked at that price earlier yesterday on Saturday. So as I'm looking at his price right now and I see these, he's like in the low 270s. I'm like, okay, or he was just in the low 270s. And look where he is, right? Fred is back to 285. Fluctuations happen like this all the time. I might want to take a look at some cards on the market today on a Sunday, especially if we get one of those packs like we we're talking about, like that big icon pack. If we get the icon upgrade pack SBC today, I think you would find a great opportunity to get on the market on out of packs cards if there is panic selling. If we get that 88 plus icon today, look at the market, especially in like the 100 to 500K range, because that will be the range of cards people might have to sell to go and do that icon pack to get coins to go buy fodder. So watch out for meta cards in there that maybe have sizable drop-offs. Uh, like Ben Yedder, 350. Ben Yedder was like 380 yesterday, right? That sort of thing, if you have pretty big drop-offs uh, in the market and some panic selling, yeah, 389. And he's down to 350. Like I am literally going to go buy Ben Yedder right now. If I can get an undercut here at like 340,000 coins or something like that, that will be a card I'm absolutely interested in buying. Let me check the supply to 380. You have one page. If this is it, if this is actual supply, it might be a little bit glitched, but there's not very many. To, there's some at 370 overnight. So yeah, for sure. If I see a 340 or an undercut here, the 350s are sit, kind of sitting. So I'm definitely going to look for like a 340. And that's how I would be trading right now with this market. But if there is a little sell off today, that might mean some panic selling. And since the market is still so healthy, you might find a great opportunity today to buy cards in the panic and then sell either later today into tonight. Or honestly, you could wait to sell until tomorrow on Monday because you probably will see a nice market rise as people get their weekly rewards and prices will probably rebound upwards across the market um, on Monday as well as they usually do in this game. So that's kind of what I'm looking at with the market. It seems kind of quiet and everything is just up, 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 but that's honestly where it is. We'll see if it gets shaken up at all today with any sort of icon pack or anything 
like that. Really quick, at the end of this video right now, I want to take a look at the objectives we dro uh, got dropped yesterday as well. Because to be honest, I think this is a big W. I know some people are like, man, Nate, this is so grindable. Uh, it's, it takes so much time to grind. It's very grindable. It does take a little bit of time. You can combine a few of these as well. I think it's like 21 matches or something like that. Uh, I haven't done the math, but you have to you have to score in 15 separate ones of the French player. You get a lone Benzema, which is cool. But honestly, guys, the three rewards here, Doan, o Onahi, and the Emmy Martinez, these are pretty cool, especially the Emmy Martinez. Uh, it's kind of nice to see EA doing this. It's a year in review objective. And you have to do just some fun challenges to get this done. I know it's in either Rivals or Squad Battles, which probably a lot of people will play this in Squad Battles, uh, which we do have Squad Battle rewards today on Sunday morning early. So this could mean a little bit extra supply hitting the market there. Maybe a good time to get in on some fodder or some informs or just watch the market in general. Uh, but I think that's a W, to be completely honest. I think that's a GG from EA. And then like we already mentioned in the beginning of the video, the 83 plus attackers upgrade, uh, it repeats again in 15 hours, which your 83s could potentially go up higher and higher throughout the rest of this week. Uh, this goes away in a couple of days from now, but if this, which it looks like it might, overlap with the 83 plus midfielder, there could be a lot of demand for those 83s. And, you know, this is still a nice upgrade pack SBC to try to pack team of the years from. I have seen people packing them from this, and it's not that expensive to do, but just like a lot of SBCs are right now, it's just a constant coin drain just slowly 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 everybody's opening packs ea's got to find a way to drain our clubs and drain our coins after giving out so many packs so that's going to be the video for today it's a hype day because new team of the year cards are in packs i'm excited to see how ea juice up these cards and hopefully they give them some really good stat boost upgrades so if you guys are excited again for today hit the thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it has been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace